Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here, I hope you're doing well. There are signs all over the place that the world is absolutely imploding financially, and I wanna wake as many people up as I can, but the problem is, is getting the information out. You know, it's up to people to share information, uh, but you know, because honestly, the powers of be don't want this information out there. They wanna sell you stocks and tell you it's called buy the dip. Um, you're crazy not to buy stocks like this, but hey guys, I'm just, um, oh, or think of the long term. Yeah, sure, it might go down in the short term, but if you're buying it cheap, you know, and you're buying, buying, buying uh, over the, the, the long haul, by the time you retire, you'll be rich, you'll retire rich. And that's not me, that's just quoting Dave Ramsey and um, that dork on CNBC, what's his name? Ah, Jim Cramer. The facts are, this is not just a dip. This is the start of an epic collapse. And I'm going to show you, prove to you right now that the world is warning the Fed that they are, because they are hell-bent on literally taking down the economy because they're going to issue a CBDC, a central bank digital currency and make cash illegal. I know that sounds crazy, but here, I'm going to show you an example right now, okay? And um, this is nuts. It says the UN warns the Fed to cool rate hikes. Now, I know we all uh, what we all believe about the UN, but I want you to understand that right now, the world's economies, we've seen three sovereign currencies collapse to the point where they have to intervene. The governance need to intervene. Um, the Japanese yen, the British pound, and then China came out and said, hey, we're gonna step up and hold up the yen too. And all three of those countries are gonna be selling uh, securities. You, you, know, you know, for sure, China and Japan, but I would not be surprised if we see uh, uh, the UK government having to sell uh, treasuries just to be able to to purchase their currency after some time. But both Japan and China have announced that, right? Which is gonna put more upper pressure on our 10-year bond. Uh, but think about this, it says right here, as inflation runs rampant, the Federal Reserve's only play seems to be interest rate hikes. Um, but doing so carries significant risk. It says a UN agency has urged the Federal Reserve to slow the pace at which it is raising federal funds rate. Um, the UN report argues that poor countries will suffer disproportionately as a result of any imminent recession. Now think about this. They're talking about poor countries, make it right. What they're not telling you is Japan, China, and the UK. The big boys are hurting. Oh yeah, that means the small ones are hurting too. Yeah, I know it, I get it. What it means is that the world is hurting badly because for years, for decades, these countries all were buying U.S. treasuries and they were doing business in U.S. dollars because that was the standard, right? Well, now they're still doing business in U.S. dollars. So as companies that need to use debt, all right, that's how the system's been built, debt. That's how we take it out, by getting out of debt. If we get out of debt and don't get in any more and build real wealth with gold, real estate, things like that, they're powerless. But these companies and, and, and countries have been buying treasuries to be able to go buy oil and buy other things that uh, for, for decades have only been traded in US dollars. Now the problem is they can't afford that debt because the interest rates are going up so rapidly. They've been, they're like, it's like monetary heroin. The drug, the drug dealer is now charging more after the druggie is addicted to the monetary heroin, the cheap interest rates of the financial system, right? And they're already used to doing it. They're already used to taking the drugs. They're addicted to the drugs because that's what makes them money. That's what their whole business has been built on, right? Not like building a cash position, not like selling something, taking the profit and saving it and then reinvesting the cash, but no, getting too big for your britches and building factories that you can't afford on debt, right? All on cheap credit, cheap mortgage rate, uh, interest rates, mortgage rates, things like that. For the, literally since 2001, there's been a couple like little hiccups because the Fed raised rates a little bit and then it crashed down, right? Twice. Actually, third time, but 2015, people don't really realize. But now they are literally raising rates like you won't believe, exponentially faster and harder than what they did the last couple cycles. And they've said, because they've lost control. They've lost control of inflation. I want people to understand that. If you think about storing up some food right now, it's not for the apocalypse, it's for, I just wanna lock in my price. If I can lock in a year's worth of gasoline right now, a contract, would you? Think about that, would you do that? If, if someone goes, hey, you know what, I'll lock in the price today. How many people would go, heck yeah, let me do it? How many few people are out there going, no, it's gonna go down. I totally believe in the policies of my federal government to uh, make sure that I'm taken care of. No, they're gonna make sure that your gas goes up twice and then they give you a check for a few hundred dollars to help you with inflation. This is not good. 
Taxes are also going up too around the world. But right now the UN knows that the Federal Reserve is going to crash world economies. They're going to do it. And if they do it, what the Fed isn't telling you, now think about this. If the dollar gets so strong that it takes out all these other economies and we're still looking good, right? Because we got a strong dollar. What are exports going to do? How, uh, there will be a whippet effect. That whippet effect will be that our companies that sell goods outside of this country will not be able to sell them anymore because no one will, can afford to buy them. That will also drastically hurt us. On top of the fact that countries will start liquidating their U.S. treasuries and the only people that will buy them, yeah, that's right, us, which will cause our 10-year bond to spike, which will send borrowing costs. Well, actually, it's 10 and 30-year bonds, and it will cause lending costs across our country to spike like crazy. So then who gets hurt again? Us. See, the truth is, if you never wanted to have a problem in your life, you should never have started using the drugs. The, the monetary drugs. And that's why when you're out of debt or in very little debt, right? I know it's hard because a lot of people have built themselves up into a lot of debt. But once you start, you get one paid off and then you accelerate to the next, trust me, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But the problem is, is it takes you starting today. And that's why I think it's so valuable. If we do that and, and start businesses, small businesses, that's why I started that side hustle course, how you literally start with a garage sale and you start building cash and saving. I know it sounds funny, but it's the most basic thing. Your business will succeed. But as we build more businesses in this country and stop relying on, especially bringing back manufacturing into our country, what was taken away, what was given away decades ago to other countries, um, we will be great again. But it takes you starting today and finding other successful people that understand this message and go, we're going to make a difference. We're going to make a difference. Guys, I've decided to make a difference. I know you can make a difference. I'm gonna link this story below. I think it's very important for people to understand, but not only world governments are freaking out, now the UN's coming and going, hey, you need to stop this. And I don't think they're gonna stop. They're not gonna stop until it crashes. All right, guys, with that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.